This is the big story presented by HerbChambers.com. I'm Katie Johnston Chase. I'm a business reporter at the Boston Globe, and I'm working on a story about enhanced security measures at the airport. Well, at all but two of the major checkpoints at Logan, there are um, these full body scanners. And you can either go through a line where you go through a traditional metal detector, or you'll go through these full body scanners. And if you, you can opt out to not have a full body scan. Uh, some people are worried about the radiation from the full body scanners, and um, some people don't like the uh, image that it shows a full image of your naked body uh, to a TSA agent. Um, and so they'll opt out and they can get a, a pat down instead. But this pat down has also been enhanced to um, include uh, a full frontal, the, the TSA agent uses the front of their hands and they slide it along your chest and along your groin area. So it's more invasive than it used to be. Not everybody has to go through the full body scanners or get a pat down. Um, majority of people will go through the traditional metal detector. Some people are, uh, depending on the line, are waved into the full body scanner or depending on which checkpoint you're in. And if you decline to go through the full body scanner, you'll go through the traditional metal detector and get a pat down. The full body scanner is more effective, according to the TSA, at uh, detecting more things underneath your clothing. They put a lot of these in place after the underwear bomber uh, at Christmas time. The TSA told me that 99% of the passengers who um, are subject to the full body scan choose to get the scan instead of being patted down. Some people are worried about the radiation levels that they get through these full body scanners and the TSA says that the amount of radiation you get is equal to what you experience during two minutes of a flight. One thing people might want to consider when they're going to the airport this week is not wearing bulky, bulky clothing because if a TSA agent can't tell exactly what's underneath your clothing, they might pull you aside for a pat down even if you don't set off a metal detector.